Just defending Hitler? Come on, bro. There are some things that you can point to Hitler being a part of and World War II in general being a part of. It expanded and pushed forth and elevated the idea that colonies had to be free. Why? Because England, France, and, and all these other countries were using these colonies as staging points and for raw materials to attack Nazi Germany. Do you understand? I'm gonna tell you something, guys. Someone asked me to speak about personal relationships on here. I, I, I don't do that. I don't speak on personal relationships here. You want me to talk about why I talk to this person or that person? I, I'm not going to do that, brother. I've never done that in an interview, and I'm not doing that here. I refuse to cheapen myself like that. If someone wants to talk to me, they know exactly where I am. They know exactly how to find me. They know exactly who to speak to to get to me, right? Would you accept in-person volunteers for Rebel Army Runs? Yes, absolutely. Have I spoken on Palestine? Absolutely. Growing up in the church, how do you feel about indigenous dudes? Uh giving the Pope a headdress. Listen, I can't tell a chief of something else what to do and what not to do. Do I think that they should have asked for the doctrine of discovery to be rescinded? Yes. I think what people forget is that Hitler was a megalomaniacal tyrant. Um, any good that came out of whatever he did was not because of him, right? There's a difference, right? A friend of mine, he was violently beaten by his dad, right? And he turned out to be a really good man. And he said something to me I'll never forget. He said, I am who I am in spite of my father, not because of him, right? The colonies got free in spite of Hitler, not because of him. In spite of him murdering all those people and trying to take over Europe and make it a fascist entity. He wasn't fighting for freedom, bro. And I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that sad argument, right? The other one is that he was a socialist. He wasn't a socialist. That's the other problem. That there's so much propaganda in this country, and now it's a lot of right-wing propaganda, and some of you guys fall for it. Talk about the Trump raid. What do you want me to say? Somebody ratted on him. That's how these things happen. Do you understand something? If, if they raided Mr. Trump's mansion, it's because somebody close to him snitched on him and took a plea agreement. These people were going to go to jail for 15, 20 years, and they can't go to jail. Do you understand? These people know that when they send innocent, regular people to jail, that they're most likely going to be victimized. When you send someone to jail, you, you think there's a good chance you could be victimized. There's a good chance that you could be murdered. There's a good chance you could be sexually assaulted. So they don't want to go to jail, right? They think jail's just enough, good enough for us, right? Black and brown people, you'll be fine in there. Not you. So one of his soft little snowflake buddies snitched on him. And that's why he's where he is. They got nothing on Trump. Oh, Urkadelic, you are a dummy. You are a dummy. They definitely got something on him. The feds ain't stupid. You can call them politicized now. It doesn't matter. They're not stupid, bro. The police ask you questions they want the answers to. The feds do not do that, brother. The feds ask questions they already know the answers to because they want to see what you are going to say and they want to rip you to pieces. Do you understand? They already have whatever they want. If they went on a raid on a president, right? Irrespective of who did it, right? Now they want to attack the person who did the raid. That, that, I saw that coming, right? The right-wing libertarians, they want to attack the person that did the raid. You, you do understand the feds, they can't get sued. They, they're afraid of Mr. Trump. They're afraid of getting sued. He has an army of lawyers still. 
whatever they found in there, they had probable cause and somebody snitched and told them that it was there. Somebody ratted them out and said, hey, there's, there's something there. You should go see it. Boom, 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 boom. That's what happened. Plus, if you notice, Fox, Newsmax, all these other conservative outlets, they're all going towards DeSantis. They think that Mr. DeSantis is the best chance that they have to win the presidency. Trump ain't fighting against the deep state. Trump is fighting against the people trying to take his money. That's it. <laughs> you think they raided the president's mansion on a hunch? They, they're not going to raid my house. What are they going to find? They know they're not going to find nothing. The feds have a 98.9% conviction rate. They know exactly what they're doing. If they raided his house, bro, they would they somebody ratted on him. Do you understand? Somebody called them that day and said, hey, whatever he has in the house is still there. The feds love a rat, right? The feds love that, and they have lots of them. They, listen, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you a fucked up story, but it's true. It's true. This is God's honest truth. You know that... You know that when the Bush administration was giving these people emergency powers to look through people's stuff and, and, and during the post-9-11 era where people started reading everybody's emails and shit like that. They knew. They knew. They're going to need somebody to be there, to somebody to say something. Look, when they, when they, when they had the, the Black Panthers, they had a dude inside the Black Panthers, right? When they wanted to destroy the Young Lords, they got a person inside the Young Lords. Do you understand how the government operates yet? Do you get that? When they want to be part, when they want to destroy you, they become a part of you. So somebody wanted to destroy him. And they became a part of the movement and they got inside and they probably know shit that he did wrong. Now, for the ones that get angry every time I criticize Mr. Trump because you secretly are like a, a, a down low Republican or a closet, you're in the closet right now. That's fine. A lot of y'all are still in the closet. You say that both sides are corrupt once you get confronted because that's your pivot. But you only criticize one side. So you're still in the closet. But let me just, just, just for the guys, in the, the closeted right-wingers. And you know who you are, right? You know who you are. You know you're in the closet. Um, but let's be honest. Plenty of, plenty of, of governments uh, uh, that have served this country, whether Republican or Democrat, they've been corrupt. Absolutely. You want me to talk about corrupt Democratic presidents? We can have a conversation about that all day. Come on now. That's the difference here. That's the difference. We, 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 we are a, 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 a full service company, an equal opportunity employer. We could rip them to pieces. I could write you a book about how corrupt the Democratic Party is. Only problem is it's not the only one. Do you understand? Do you get that now? Come on, bro. Save this live. I told you I'm not saving these no more. This is our personal time together. I have mixed feelings about the proxy war in the Ukraine. I have very hard feelings about that too. It really hurts my heart to see that happening. Someone said, you do a lot of grumbling, but no action. What are you talking about? I'm out in the street every day doing something. Once a week, we feed people. We feed 80 families, right? Your mom didn't even feed you. That's why you're short, ugly, and unhappy.
I'm a 23 year old African woman. I want to understand the way of the world. The way of the world, man. There are only two classes that the people that own the resources and the means of production and then there's a working class. That's it. Developments for Afghanistan. That's a very, very tough question, bro. Can Canada be fixed? Canada? You think Canada is a fascist entity? Is that what people are saying now? Canada is a fascist entity? How is Canada more fascist than the United States? You do understand that people in the United States and in, in England, that whole Brexit thing, I had a conversation with someone about yesterday. Excuse me. They, they don't like when I talk about this, but it's true. Europe pays people to have children. Do you understand what that means? They give people maternity leave, right? They give people maternity leave. Europe pays people to have children. They give them maternity leave. The reason that we don't get maternity leave in America is because they don't want to pay black and brown people to have children. And if you don't, you don't have to take my word for it. Oh, where'd you get that from? Where'd you get that from? BLM and the Democrats? No, I actually got it from the mouth of a Republican president, you cock smoker. Huh? Next. 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 You can look it up in the archive, bro. That's how these presidents felt about us. In Europe... They ain't closing the border because they're, if they're closing the border because their law, they'd have to change the law and say, okay, women in Scotland, women in England, women in Wales, no matter what you are, you are do no longer get maternity leave. They can't do that. They'd have a real revolution. They wouldn't have people in the street protesting masks with a few hundred people trying to exaggerate the numbers, right? They wouldn't be doing that. They'd have a real fucking rebellion in England. Real rebellion. You know why? Because you'd have to shoot women, not just men, not just angry, disaffected, incel men, bro, like you. They'd have to shoot women because there would be women in line saying, you won't take that. You won't take that. You won't take away my child's food. You won't take away my fucking, uh, 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 my baby formula. How dare you? Women would overthrow England. You understand? There would be two million women in the street, bro. You can't take that away from them. So what do they do? I want you to do your own research. Thank you, Joker. I just want them to do their own research. Just do your own research, bro. Y'all hear one thing on a YouTube channel from a motherfucker and you take it as gospel. You take it as gospel, bro. Motherfuckers read one book and then base their life off it. Oh, man. That's a shame. I'm here, I'm working, I'm on my job. I love y'all. I appreciate you guys. Hey man, people keep offering me money for the podcast, but you know, they gotta hit the right number, bro. And it's gotta be done the right way. I, I would like, I would like to have some kind of conversation with people. I. I like this type of stuff, you know. I'm not bad to flame some idiot, but at the same time, um, I do enjoy conversations. Like, if someone doesn't agree with something I have to say, I'm never threatened by that, man. 
I'm never threatened by someone else's beliefs. That's why I always find conservative Christians so pathetic and snowflake. Like, what are you bothered about what someone else believes? This is my God. Congratulations, man. I really hope it starts. I really hope you and your God work things out really well, bro. Doesn't bother me. Because I'm not weak. I'm not affected by other people's beliefs. It, that, that your belief is not going to change me. Right? Like when Mr. Trump came in, there were some people that, that and they, they were really, really, they wanted to pull me in that direction. They were like, oh, yeah. You know, he's a, he's a freedom fighter. I started laughing. I said, yo, bro, y'all are idiots. You do realize that. This dude's a clown like all the rest of them, right? And these were people that were like, no, he's he's against the vaccine and all this other shit. And I said, no, he'll come out. He's, he's a president of the United States. He's going to have to push whatever they tell him to. And sure enough, he started pushing your little vaccine. And all your little anti-vaxxers got so upset at Trump. Oh, no, he didn't do that on purpose. He did that because they... He did that because he's just like everybody else. Mr. Obama can smile and say things intelligibly, but he has to be the president of an empire. He is the Caesar, right? They're Caesars. They have to run Rome. Someone asked me, do I agree with leftist ideology? I think that's a trick question, Jesse716, because you're not defining leftist ideology what democratic co-option uh you're talking about people gaslighting actual leftists an infrastructure plan with 1.2 percent infrastructure that's what democrats gave us in the trillion dollar package that's not leftist capitalism that's not communism that's them peeing in your eye do you understand jenny or sorry Whatever her name was. These people are peeing in your fucking eye. So yeah, when you say leftist ideology, and you say, hey, do you agree with leftist ideology? That's like asking me, do you agree with what those motherfuckers are saying on the corner? What? What corner? What corner? Which leftists? So you like the bill? No, I don't like the bill. It doesn't do enough. There's no real infrastructure. 1.2 for infrastructure? Oh, yeah. He's really Joseph Stalin. Come on, man. That's different. The infrastructure investments they did were to prevent invasion. Oh, no, the Hitler apologist is getting flamed. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, they're mad. They're mad. This shit is being really delayed. <clears throat> Do I like living in an empire? We get strawberries and blueberries year round, but we have fascism. So, hey, where you go? Socialism for the rich. Harsh capitalism for everyone else. I heard someone say Trudeau is Fidel Castro's son. Come on, dude. Y'all sound like them people on the corner with pencils in a cup. Where's the proof, fam? Where's the proof? Show me a proof besides two pictures together. Show me something besides two pictures together, bro. Lord Finesse. Oh, man. Lord Finesse is my hero, bro. Lord Finesse is my hero, man. Lord Finesse is one of my hip-hop heroes. And for those of y'all that don't know, Lord Finesse was the one that discovered Big L. Shout out to Big L, rest in peace, Harlem all day. The world is flat, I can't, I can't. All right, let me just say something for the record, for the, for the people that are, are the flat earth people. You're being played. You're being played, you flat earth freaks. You're being played, man. 
We're not on a floating credit card in space, okay? We're on an elliptical sphere, okay? An elliptical sphere, excuse me. My born day twin. Listen, th these people are on a sphere. It, it, it blows my mind when people go from we need to organize against the government to there are lizards living in the ground to we live on a floating credit card in space i can't man y'all 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 went back to shit that people believed in in like 1322 bro Some stuff I won't even repeat because it's just so stupid. But I try to answer everybody's questions, even the people who I feel are not asking the, these things genuinely. You know what I mean? A lot of people, they don't really want the answer to the question. They just ask a question that they think makes you look like a hypocrite. And uh, those gotcha questions are annoying because it's like, hey, you, you want to play philosophy? Okay. Your mom was raped and gave birth to you. Do you wish that your mom wasn't raped? Don't play mind games with me, stupid. Don't do shit like that. Oh, hey, how would you feel if you were, huh, okay, how about that? If your mom was raped and she had you, would you wish your mom wasn't raped so you couldn't exist, homie? Okay, there you go. Don't play, don't play philosophical games with me. Please, I don't like philosophical games, homie. I, I, I don't appreciate that kind of stuff because I feel like it's disingenuous. You don't really care what people's opinions are. You don't really care what they believe in or what their ideas are. You just want to find a way to justify your own misguided whatever the fuck. What's the biggest lie <sighs> that Americans believe that they're free? How about that, that they're free? The biggest lie, they're free. <laughs> 